and in studio having this conversation with us and showcasing some of their amazing belts is Mutugi Kirema. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Mikaeli. Thank you for having me. Not a problem. So, Uliamua belts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've had people here who've talked about, you know, ties, sort of, you can get your shawls. Yeah. But today, I think, is the very first time we're talking about belts. And I just want to probably just dig a, dip, a bit deeper to just find out why, why belts. What led you to this path? Yeah, so it's belts because of a problem that I used to experience a lot oh, um, yeah? a few years back. Uh -huh. So what happened was um, I used to buy belts every year. So because okay. the belts that I bought um, were not good quality. Um, and then where I was buying them, you'd get those guys who tell you like, yeah, so these belts are real leather. And at that point, you don't know what leather looks like, or at least you've not interacted with but leather. But you know leather is good. If they tell you yeah. leather, you know that's going to be long Then it looks long really lasting. flashy. It looks really shiny. So you get it. Then you probably ask them, so how long will I have this belt for? So they tell he miakatano. You know, they'll give you well, big promises. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but then that did not uh, lead to what they were telling me. So um, I kept changing belts every year, every year, every year. So it got to a point I was like, you know what? I probably need to look into this leather belts I keep hearing, hearing about, mm -hmm. sorry. So, um, well, of course I got them. Um, I searched on Instagram, I searched on Google and stuff, but then the price point was so high. At the point I wasn't able to afford um, that belt because it was going to for about 5,000, 6,000. Mm. I was like, hey, no, this is too cheap. Yeah, man, you know. <laughs> so what happened was um, we decided with my fiance, like, um, let's see if we can actually create our belt and see how that goes. So we sourced for material. Mm -hmm. We got fundies to locally. Locally, yes, locally. Um, we got fundies to actually do the stitching. I had my belt. The price point was good. So pr kept that belt since um, 2019. Um, not 2019, um, mid, that was about April. Mm -hmm. And we had it all the way to 2020 December. Whoa. It was still in shape. It's actually the same belt I'm wearing You're today. You're wearing today? Yeah. Wow. So we're like, you know what? This is a problem we've actually seen um, that guys are going through. Yes. So why not start a business mm -hmm. and then probably price it at a point where everyone or anyone can afford a leather belt okay so that's how that's Hyden how Style it started. came out and the name the company name is also very interesting yeah hide and style what is that why why, why that so hide and style um hide comes from um oh hide. the skin hide <laughs> oh yeah meaning like hide and seek like mukali wow wow, uh, <laughs> wow no it's okay so hide <laughs> from the skin then yes. style from style ah well. yeah okay God, yeah. that was so obvious <laughs> <laughs> Okay, great. This was not for me. It was for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's say that. Hide and let's say that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. And you brought samples yes. uh, for us today. Maybe yes. we can just check them out and see. So those are, uh, that's the men's belt. That's okay. the black one. Okay. So, mm -hmm. ah, so they, so it's, e it's, it's not easy for you to know. Really. Yeah. They'll even do these things for you. Yeah. E yeah. <laughs> look, Angalia, Kwanzaa Vah, they even tell you, just wear it and see how, lo how good you look. Oh, in and them. it's branded. I like it. Yeah. It's branded hide and style. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when you got into making the belt and mm -hmm. you made the very first one for yourself. Yes. And getting into or turning that into a business now yeah. that you understand that it, there are many people who've gone through the same problem as yeah. you have. Yeah. How was that? How was, you know, just getting into the market and being able to be visible enough for people to understand that this is what you're doing? Well, okay. Um, so... To begin with, now you have to consider things like finances. Yes. Do you have the money um, to start this business? Mm -hmm. After you look at things, after we looked at things like finances, we also looked at um, fundies. Mm -hmm. um, do we have I people who are able to produce enough um, uh, belts, um, say in a month? Yes. We also look at the market. Is there a ready market for belts? Mm -hmm. So what we realized was definitely, um, I think almost everyone, if not everyone, wears a belt. Yeah. So that's ready market. So now we look at the element of sizes. There are different sizes. We have I see a 40 here. Does it mean anything? Yes, yes, yes. It can oh, be okay. a 40, it can be a 28, it can be a 45, it goes, mm. it varies. So there's the element of being able to understand who, um, let's not call them a user, who your customer is. Yes. 
So you have to identify and know that our customers will probably range between the size, maybe 34 up towards 45. Okay. And knowing okay. now how exactly are you going to make sure, what number of pieces are you going to get for each size? Mm -hmm. So it, it was, uh, that, that's, that, that's just a little of what exactly we went through. Okay. Before set, as we are setting up. What's the process like? Because we see belts that are black like this one, mm -hmm. then we'll see others that are brown. Mm -hmm. So what's the what what is what is the process like in terms of creating, you know, the perfect belt? Okay, so what happens is um so for example this is cow saddle this is saddle leather belts. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they dye it to whatever colour you want. Uh -huh. It can be in pink, okay. it can be in brown, it can be in white. So what they do is when they get the actual skin they dye it, they tan it, then they dye it, whatever color you want. Then when you're buying it, you buy it in a big piece of um, of, of, of leather. Mm -hmm. Then when you take them now to the fundies, what they do is they just start cutting um, to fit the sizes that you've asked for. So after the, the cutting, now they'll do the stitching. What you'll notice with our belts is we haven't put any lining at the back of the belt. Mm -hmm. What this does is we want to show the, the, the customer that this is genuine leather. Okay. So you okay. can try and scrap it like this and you'll see it's genuine leather. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's very light as well, I have to say. It's yes. not it's not bulky. Yes. It's very and malleable yes. as well. Yes. So you had another one. Is so is this a casual or is this is this official? So or maybe this to, is both. Maybe to give you an explanation about the difference between the two. Yes. So we have the casual uh, yes. belts and we have the formal belts. Uh -huh. So normally what happens, the casual belt is usually a bit wider mm -hmm. than the formal belt. Oh but the formal belt is usually a bit slimmer. So what, is so what you'll notice is we've built ours to become more multi-purpose. Ah, uh, okay. Which okay. means you, it's something you can rock outdoors when you're with your friends, mm -hmm. and it's something that you can actually dress when you're going for a meeting or when you're going to the office. Mm -hmm. So that's what we've done. Okay, Yes. okay. Let's talk about the money, 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 because that <laughs> is one of the things okay. that you were considering because yeah. you couldn't afford a perfect belt at the, time. at the time. So that means you wanted to create something that was affordable yeah. to someone like you. Yeah. So mm -hmm, how much is our <laughs> <Drum> belt? rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, this belt goes for 1,500, 1500 shillings, mm -hmm. um, be it whatever color. So this is black. We have the brown one here. Do we have it here? Yeah, it's here. Okay. Let me just get it for you. Ooh. This is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we also have the ladies' belt here. So these are gents' belts. Yeah, those are Can gents. Can I see belts. the ladies' one? Yes. Okay. I see the buckle is yes, different. Yes, the buckle is a bit different. Yes, it is. Yes. It is different. Okay. Okay. I see. And yeah. it's a bit. It's a bit. Yeah. Yes. Not like the gentleman. Not like the ones. gentleman's one, yeah. When it comes to marketing and putting your name out there, mm -hmm. you know, there definitely were some people who were, you know, making the belts who mm -hmm. probably had gone through the same mm -hmm. thing as you and they were out there now making belts, belts, belts mm -hmm. and you had to get in and make a name for yourself. Mm -hmm. How was the how has the reception been and what did you do to just, you know, make sure that Tuna Jua hide and style is in the is market it, now? Is the market now. So yes, um, what we've noticed is when you uh, portray yourself on Instagram or whatever social um, platform you're using as a leather um, uh, business, uh, most people will tend to ask about bags, will tend to ask about wallets, yes. will tend to ask about yes. so many different leather products. Yes. But then we've completely tried to niche down to belts even when it comes to our communication out there. Like when you visit our, our Instagram page, Hide and Style, um, you'll see that we've just said that we are doing genuine leather belts only so um, the reception has not been bad to be honest um, we've gotten people who've been able to we call them early adopters who've been mm -hmm. able to get some of our belts yeah um, our biggest channel of business is actually referrals mm -hmm. where you get someone who's um, had our belt um, for quite some time then they actually recommend it to um, their friends okay. um, we've also tried to introduce the giftability element of our belts um, we've had this notion where guys talk, uh, where ladies talk about um, how it's difficult to gift their boyfriends, mm. husbands, and dads. Mm. So we have introduced the giftability element where all you have to do is know their size. Then we will do the rest. We will manufacture. We will do everything and deliver it to you. Okay. Yeah. So if you want it written, 
with Kali's husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for that, we have not been able to get to that point where we are doing customized yet. Okay. Because um, some of the um, challenges, if I can now go to challenges, uh, yes, that we have experienced is um, size. Um, most people don't know their sizes. Okay. So you'll get someone assumes maybe he's a size 36. But then when you deliver the belt, it gets to, it, you, it, it, it becomes smaller or it becomes bigger. Mm -hmm. So now having the belt already customized to a certain name like Mikali's husband means no one else can have that belt. Yeah. So we are trying, we're still trying to see how exactly we can sort that out. Then we'll be able to do that. Ah, okay. Yeah. So actually waste, waste yet to, yeah. how are we living <laughs> like this, Bana? <laughs> so is that the only challenge that you've been able to face um, or are there some other challenges as well in terms of business? Well, we've had a couple of um, challenges, maybe um, when we were setting up, which yeah. was um, um, Fundi's Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> so Tell me about it. <laughs> Nani Wate. Yes. Waviatu, Wanguo, Wanyumba. Yes. yes. So yeah. first um, telling them what exactly you want um, and then going there and finding something completely different. Yes. And they try convince you like, oh yeah, but this is what you say. This is this is actually the best. So we've had a lot of back and forth, mm -hmm. back and forth, back and forth. Because then again, something you noticed was our belts are light, very light, which is something very different very that has light. now been done. Because then yeah. that means it's comfortable to wear, it's comfortable to run, it's mm. comfortable to just do anything. Even sitting, you don't actually feel you're we you're wearing a belt. Sorry. So, fundis um, has been a challenge. Fundis has been a challenge. Have but you been able to get around definitely, that? Definitely. What did definitely. you do? Maybe there's a patia or two tip um, here so if you're in the business. <laughs> we've gotten so many prototypes. We've mm -hmm. done so many, so many samples. Mm -hmm. So um, if we've gotten to a point where we've said, you know what, this is exactly what we can work with now. Let's yes. start um, developing from here. Okay. You know, like the minimum, as like, let's start here. Then yes. we'll go improving. So we already got that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So 1500 for all the belts. For all the belts. That's yes. the standard price. That's the standard price. Great. Yes. And uh, how can people get in touch with you? Is there a physical location or is it strictly online? So it's strictly online for now. So we ha we are on Facebook and um, Instagram at um, Hide and Style. Mm -hmm. um, then we are currently working on our e-commerce website because we've noticed we are getting so many um, orders. We need to channel that to a system. So we should be launching um, hideandstyle.co.ke yeah, towards the end of the year or the month. Yeah, yeah. to the end of the year. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. Yeah. But congratulations thank on you. this and thank you for solving a problem. Yeah. I think that is the best thing that you can do even when you're getting into a business, not yeah. just for the money bit of it, but just creating a solution as yeah. well. Yeah. As as, thank you for having me. So hide and style on social media, Kila Mahali. Yes. Okay, yes. great. Thank you guys for tuning in. Our time is up. It's been a beautiful Monday morning, a beautiful two hours with you. Thank you for engaging with me, for texting, for tuning in, for choosing us. I just want to wish you an amazing, amazing day. Get to see you tomorrow. Have a nice day.